Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is YC Rhino and it's time for my reaction to RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Uh, it is the season premiere of season four. I cannot believe it's already been four seasons of Drag Race UK. Um, I watched uh, season three last year, but I did not do a reaction video to it. Um, I actually had kind of forgotten a lot of the queens. I just earlier today, I was trying to like trying to recall how many of the queens I could remember, and there's very few, maybe five or six of them. Um, just I don't know for some reason last year I just wasn't that uh, interested in Drag Race UK. I don't know if maybe some of the early seasons were boring or if I was just you know burnt out. But hopefully. I will have a renewed interest and season four will be awesome. Um, I did not watch Meet the Queens. I, I like to be surprised. I like when the queens come into the workroom, I like for that to be the first time I'm seeing them. I have seen some of these queens on social media. So I think just the name, I know the, them by the name, but I don't know anything about their drag. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I would love it if you would subscribe and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. So let's get started to RuPaul's Drag Race UK season four. Wow. Did they change the workroom? It looks good. It looks bigger for some reason. Okay. Who is this? Okay. I'm Danny Beard. And I'm Danny Beard. Okay. All right, Danny Beard. Really? Sorry if I don't seem excited. This is the third time I'm watching this. <laughs> I, my camera wasn't recording the first time. So I've seen the first four queens already, so I'm re-watching it again. So, and then the second time, the dogs kept interrupting me. So, so there's baby. No, she can't do none of that shit. <laughs> I love that she lied. <laughs> She's like, girl. Like anime princessy. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes we, we, you know, we fall short. <laughs> all right. She's pretty too. Like, so far, all of these queens are really attractive. <laughs> Pixie Polite. And they know each other, which is always fun. So this is the queen. So I saw her. Yeah, I saw her. I don't remember what her name was though. That's right, losers. I'm Sminty Drop. I'm Sminty, Sminty Drop. Old. Okay. So this is as far as I saw before I realized my camera wasn't recording and I had to start I over. Twice. Book, I, would, I got told you were going to be a massive bitch, but I think it's just your eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, she does have bitchy eyebrows. <laughs> wow. Look how pretty. Beautiful. I'm Starlet. I'm 23 years old. Starlet. No, that's the most sparkle I've ever seen coming to the workroom. Wow. All those things. Yeah, and humble too. <laughs> Honey, you thought you were going to be the only one? <laughs> Have you watched this show before? One. So she's just an. So she's just an insta. So she's only famous on social media. She's only done one performance. How? So how long has she been doing drag? Okay, well, we need more about that. Blonde just isn't a hair color. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> I'm John Burr's Blonde, and I am a showgirl on a Saturday. John Burr's Blonde. Fire on a Sunday. <laughs> and, uh, and then I was a stylist for a time. Shopping. Her uh, look doesn't, doesn't match her voice. Something mixed matched for me. I don't. Something about her voice is throwing me off. Holy crap! 
What? <sighs> Fuck up. Cause Peppa's here. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Okay. Okay, she is very striking. Tired. I don't want to be tired after I watch a performance. That could be bad. Yeah. It's it's giving us. It's very much us. She got a stitch on the side. Um. Just me. I don't like her what she's wearing. Oh, I don't like her makeup. Uh, uh that is not. That's not it, girl. It's disturbing to me. It's it's unsettling. Yeah, I don't like it. Yes, she does look like she's about to cry. I think that's why it's making me feel weird. She she going to catch the bus? Why is she walking so fast? In mint condition. These girls need a walking lesson. We need to all star seven, have Naomi Campbell in here and teach these girls how to walk. Because the walking on about half of them has been terrible. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. If you can't walk, if you can't present it, you lose me. I don't even know what her name was. <laughs> I'm so distracted. Okay. All right. Why are they all screaming like she just said she had leprosy or something? She's 38. <laughs> not, that, not that big of a deal. That's right. Thank you. Copper top. Why does she have that? <laughs> All right, LaPhil. I'm LaPhil and I ain't no filler queen. That okay, last filler, yeah, last queen that said that was a filler queen. I love singing. I love my music. She's pretty. I'm from Oh. The silent deadly type. Intrigued. Very. I think you will be. I am. That walk, that presence, that mystique. And gorgeous and full yes. Years old and for also I'm from Birmingham, but my dad <laughs> was very much born in Manchester. Cheddar gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you thought you were going to come in a room full of ugly people? <laughs> no, I don't really specialize in anything, but I think being a drag is like being a bit of a jack of all trades. I think a master of none. Be careful about that jack of all trades stuff. This is all of us. What an amazing car. I'm going to need her to change her makeup. I'm not going to be able to look at her with that makeup the entire season. They don't have hers. Is, yikes. They're going to have to change that now that Queen Elizabeth has passed away. You would think they would try to fix that before they release this, wouldn't you? We are recreating the Spice Girls' iconic entrance into the 2012 London Olympics. Cheddar's super comfortable with RuPaul first episode. Cheddar's gonna win. Oh, let's see what she got. Oh, yeah. They all had it. They all had good shots. This week's maxi challenge, you'll be serving two looks on the runway. Ooh, two looks, 12 queens. Ooh, it's a lot. You need to serve a look that is inspired by dear old Auntie B. And for your second look, who are you? A signature drag look that puts your charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent on full display. All right, let's get going. Two looks. It's going to be a long runway. First runway of season four. Let's see what Rue is wearing. Ostrich feathers. Oh, that's short. Category is BBC Keeping It 100. All right, BBC Keeping It 100. Cheddar Gorgeous. I am serving test card clown real 
Okay. This is one of the things I remember most okay. about. It's kind of like in the United States, you know, when there was only like two or three channels at night and then at like midnight, TV would go off and it would just be like the flag or whatever. Okay. So this is what Blue Peter is. All aboard, judges. Get on this blue Peter. Oh, is that like the Rue Peter badge? Is that where the Rue Peter badge, the namesake, came from? Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Is it just me or are they like sprinting up and down the runway? Like they're moving so fast I can barely... The absolute shade. What? I heard she loves the L E D. I like this. I was on the Antiques Roadshow. I'd be the last item featured. Priceless. As Rasta Mouse, I have my red muscle hat. Rasta Mouse. Traditional Rastafarian. You see this guy walking around happily. As Anne Boleyn from Horrible Histories. Oh. All right, Two, twice we've seen her. She has the exact same look that she wore into the runway. I hope she has something else in her bag of tricks. She looks pretty. I will give her that. She looks pretty, but she better have more than that. Okay. I don't know that she had to paint her face for that, though. Oh, they're both. This is this is Danny Beard. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought this was, for, for some reason, I thought this was um the other girl. I, how I thought this was the other girl, I don't know. Two Mr. Blobbies. Queen Victoria Bust, just May. I've gone for a character from my favorite BBC show, EastEnders, and there's no one more iconic. I'm giving great head and shoulders. Julie Walters in the two suits sketch. BBC look is exactly what I believe the BBC is. Great comedy content. Yeah, I don't understand why she didn't have them, like, on her hands. This is awkward. Yeah. She could either be, I, I mean, she could be flattered. Oh, my God, look, her panties are down around her knees. I love it. This is gorgeous. Absolutely fabulous, darling. It's like, quoi, darling. Thank you, darling. Oh, yes, darling. No, darling. Thank you. Oh. That was a Snatch Game character. As Del Boy. Tony Falls is something that me and my dad used to watch together a lot when I was younger. All of my knickknacks and thingamabobs feeling like an absolute... You see all those Rue Peter badges in there? <laughs> like, if I don't win one, I brought my own. Next, Black Pepper. Black Pepper, that's who it was. I could not remember what her name was. I decided... Okay. I like it. I like her look better. I, <laughs> I like this look better for sure. All right. Category is Rue, are you? Signature drag. Cheddar gorgeous. Ooh. Wow. I really wanted to bring something that was quintessentially how I look when I do drag. Mm, she's beautiful. She called Rue up and said, girl, what color are we wearing today? We wearing our bronzy browns? That was pretty. Wow. Very Captain America. Oh, wow. Are you red? Ooh. Red is definitely her color. Wow. I love that. I, I know people hate when you do this, when you give references. She reminds me, uh, she reminds me of Kimmy Couture, like her, her presentation. Wow. She just had to bend down to get through the, yeah, be, it, like change the shoes or change the headpiece. God, her legs are like a mile long. <laughs> what stones oh on her uh, yeah i'm trying to figure out what that is exactly 
I am giving you a signature decorative shift of fancy. Has she worn her natural hair every, all, three times? Or is that a wig? I can't tell. That was my nickname in high school, Michelle Beard. I wanted to show the judges a little bit of me. It's gender fuckery, which is what I'm known for. Yes. I love a bit of showcases who I am because it's about serving the face. My face. As opposed to someone else's face? <laughs> Just there. <coughs> I like that. Just ginger spice? <laughs> Me, all over my body because I'm what branded. There you go. Hey, I, can't face any I hope she's gonna wear a different wig because didn't we see this wig before? The judges may have got no idea what's going on, but then wait for it. I'm not just a ginger fag, I'm ginger and faggy. Oh, okay. My runway is all about me reclaiming all of those shitty little words that I've been called throughout my entire life. Oh, there you go. Starlet. Ooh, Starlet. She looks ethereal. Classic all time beauty. Cinderella, what I'm wearing is a good representation of my name because I'm Mitch and an old Hollywood star. <laughs> Storm power to gathering. <laughs> I wanted to go for a classic end of the pier, darling. I am a ray of freaking sunshine. Oh, I don't think I would have. I don't know if I would have gotten sunshine out of that. Black pepper. I think she bought this on Quality Street. Uh, wow. I am 100% melanin. She is I oiled up. Uh -oh. What happens? <gasps> the headpiece box. You did not secure your yeah, headpiece. Is. is she head like the Cadbury or the the dairy <laughs> milk chocolate bar? Ooh, did not have her headpiece secure. Queen, it's not good. Name, First impressions. Ladies, you are all safe. 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 Excuse me, Cheddar is safe. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, um, so Sminty, I think, is the winner. Yeah. Because I love both of her looks. Yeah. She's a young queen. She's like, she even looks. Yeah. She looked. She was bunched up the whole time. And she was like running. I think you're gorgeous, and I'd love to see your not not so made up face. That's yeah, the makeup. She's not wearing any makeup. <laughs> yeah, the, her makeup is. She's definitely got to change that makeup. Next, Starlet. The only thing I worry about is that you are kind of timid. I am a naturally shy meeting people at first. My purest self. I'm a massive goofball. We want to see that. In on that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Got it. We're gonna want to see that. Thank you. Ooh. They look like they've been beat up. My girls. And some post bottoms. I think it's me and Copper. Really? Yeah. You got some good good take by, babe. I don't think it's you and Copper. I think it's you and um <laughs> no, baby. Red. Really What's her name? And I felt like I didn't do myself proud. It's gonna be her. I think it's gonna be the other girl. I don't remember what her name was now. Is ugly, but do you know what else is ugly? Homophobia. So I'm really glad that she brought this look and could share this story on the runway. Her, um, just May. I think just May is gonna be in the bottom. If I had to guess. What I'm thinking to myself is, even though the judges found fault for my outfit, I'm hoping that my personality is enough to get me through this. You thought this was spectacular. Wait till you see the outfit she walked into the workroom in. Probably favorite outfit ever to walk into that workroom. Really? Wow. Really? Right, wow. Go. Okay. I am a fan. Starlet might be onto something. Welcome back, ladies. I've made some decisions. So is it going to be Starlet or... I cannot remember this queen's name. Starlet, you are safe. You may join the other girls. Wow. I thought Starlet was going to win. They were really talking her up. Black Pepper. Black Pepper. 
I cannot remember her name. I'll have to remember. It's going to stick me now. Black pepper, black pepper. <laughs> you're the winner, baby. Congratulations. You're the winner of the Switch Challenge. Oh, good for her. She is sweating. Rue look like she's sweating, too. It must be hot in there. You're safe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking she was safe. I didn't think she was going to be in the bottom. Yeah. They all look shocked. I don't know why. Uh, just me. I hope you practice that lip sync, girl. They was ready to just ship co copper top off, wasn't they? Look. Take that hat off if you can't keep it on. If it ain't going to stay on your head, honey. All right, so neither one of them are really dancers, right? They're just walking point girls. I think right now, I I think Dakota's selling it more for me. Okay, she's trying. Y'all ain't got like one little dance move in your repertoire? Nope, they said all we do is walking point, man. That's it. Like they can't do a little something. There you go, there we go. Song's hot. I like it. Yeah. I think Dakota killed that. She did well. I mean, not killed it, but you know, <laughs> it, it ain't gonna go down in their history books. But I think she did a good job. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I I think it's gonna be Dakota. Dakota Schiffer. you stay. Yeah. Yep. Come on, girl. Get up. Get up. Just me. Be just me. No. Sashay away. Thanks for having me. I'll see you later. We'll see you later. Get fucked. Wow. Wiser words have never been spoken. Rue's better than me. Feels iconic to be the first one to leave Drag Race season. Yeah, it should become like a new badge of honor. <laughs> We remember the first person eliminated. We rarely remember the second person eliminated. It was gonna be me. Remember, you can't love yourself. How the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. Now let the music play. There we go. That was episode one of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season four. And it looks like Jess May is the first queen to be eliminated. Um... Honestly, I completely agree with that. Um, and I'm glad she got eliminated because I think her makeup was so distracting and unsettling for me. I don't know if I could have looked at I don't know if I, if I would want to look at her makeup for a whole season. I know that's mean, but that's true. That's, that's how I honestly feel. Um, Black Peppa won the first maxi challenge. So great job for her. Uh, this is a full, I mean, this is a full house of Queens and, and they run the gamut. We've got some, some camp, we've got some glamor, we've got some, uh, some comedy Queens. It's definitely going to be an interesting season. I believe, um, right now, like just first impressions, um, the Queens that, I think have probably made the most impact in just the first episode, obviously black Peppa, she won the last, she, you know, she won the first maxi challenge. Um, so she definitely has think has made an impact. Um, I'll say Sminty. Uh, and I don't remember what Sminty's last name. I'm going to get it, but I just don't remember what it is right now. Uh, she absolutely made an impact starlets. Um, and then for me, probably Cheddar gorgeous. Um, I thought Cheddar looked amazing on the runway and I'm surprised that she wasn't in the top. I'm surprised her look was safe, but there's something about that queen's presence. And, um, yeah, there's definitely something that I find very interesting and intriguing. And I definitely want to know more about that queen. Like I definitely of all the Queens, I want to see more of her. And, um, she seemed to have a pretty good, um, uh, repertoire, what's that, what's the word? Um, rapport. She seemed to have a really good rapport with Rue, um, in the, in the photo challenge. So yeah, 
Uh, Cheddar, Cheddar Gorgeous is definitely a queen I'm going to watch. Uh, what do you guys think? What did you think of the first episode? Which queen is your favorite? Do you agree with the two queens that were in the bottom and the queen who was ultimately eliminated? I'd love to uh, hear what you think. Just leave your comments below and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my content, all of my reactions to RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 4. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!